This is going to be the tactic that scores over 4.5 goals a game and also won seven trophies in one season. It's a very exciting 4-2-4. Let's get into it. What's going on guys, it is Joshua from Scout, and today we've got another map release, it's going to be a very exciting, fast-paced 4-2-4. Today we're going to test with four very different teams, and I'm going to go from weakest to strongest in this video. I like to switch it up from going, you know, from the strongest to the weakest. Today we're going to start off with Northampton. Let's get into it. In Northampton, a team predicted to finish 22nd over in Skybet League 1, and we have come out and actually not far off gone invincible. I mean, only three losses here, which are going to be against the likes of Barnsley, Reading, and Cambridge, all away games, all 1-0 defeats, so nothing to be embarrassed about at all. We put on a fantastic season there. We also do win the Bristol Street Motors Trophy against Oxford in 4-0 fashion, which is a very good final to put on for the fans there. Going obviously over to some of the player stats, 40 goal from Simpson. We're going to have Bowie coming in with 27. All three players when it comes to the average rating and the most assists. Second place in the most clean sheets, and I'm very excited to see... Yeah, we're going to be very convincing. Fewest conceded, the most clean sheets. Possession-wise, not too bad either, with 56% of the ball. The fewest shots against us, the most shots for, the most goals at, you know, 42 more than second place, and the most points per game. We're doing everything right, and this is with the weakest team. It's pretty scary to see. Of course, going to the date hub, it is going to be 2.87 goals a game. 0.74, so easily, don't need to be a mathematician to actually figure that out, we're scoring way over two goals to what we are going to be conceding, 78% tackle win ratio, an 87% pass completion, and just over 19 shots every single game, it's an attacker masterclass. Not the biggest trophy in the world, but it, we're going to watch the Bristol Street Motors trophy. Why not? It's a final at the end of the day. One of the competitions we were in, and Springer puts in a fantastic goal there. It's a great bit of play from Hoskins. Leonard with a ball into the back stick, and it's a great header. Cumming is actually injured in goal, so I don't know why he's staying on the field, but obviously they might have a backup, or the AI is not smart enough to substitute. I'm not sure why, but he's still on the field, and he's still conceding goals, as it is going to be 3-0 before half time. And one more goal comes in in the 88th minute. We're going to get it to the right-hand side, drive a great... Ball. Interesting goal. Up next is going to be a bit of a stronger team, but in a weaker league, that is going to be the Bundesliga 2. We test with Schalke, and we, again, close to going invincible. Only three losses there. Are they all away? They're all away as well. Of course, all by one goal margins. It's literally exactly what happened to the last one. But do you know what? A very good season in the Bundesliga 2, as I just said right there. And if we go to the league table again, we can see it's going to be HSV coming in in second place of Hanover going into the playoffs as well. So to be fair, they are one of the better teams in the Bundesliga 2, but still getting a job done. It's going to be Lasmin picking up 23 goals and also third place for 17. We can't complain. Got to be three players in the average rating. Soppy and also it is going to be Ojan, I so you say that sorry coming in with 13 assists hopefully i've not butchered that clean sheet wise we did not get in the top three so i am going to imagine maybe not as good defensively as we are going to be attacking and that's not the case at all fewest conceded at 19 the most clean sheets so i don't know why we're not in there at all possession wise 53 percent of the ball so again it's not going to be a possession based tactic but it is going to be very fast paced aggressive lots of goals and lots of fun to play with the fewest shots against 172 the most shots at over 610 the most goals at 104 Four, which is, you know, practically double off Hanover. In fact, it is double off Hanover, bang on. And the most points per game at 2.62, which is absolute domination, to be honest with you. Data hub-wise, we are going to have a little look. It's going to be just over three goals a game, way under a goal at 0.56. That is remarkable. 18 shots a game, an 87% pass completion, and a tackle win ratio of 78.36. Let's go and watch some highlights. So I'll just pick out a league game. Obviously, it is going to be top, sticking it into the bottom right corner, as he does best. A great penalty there. But they're going to have Grimmel down the right-hand side, just playing with a, a ball into the box. I mean, to be honest, that's incredible. I didn't even pick this game out, especially for that back heel. I'm a little bit mind-blown by that. That's an incredible back heel. Bit of arrogance from him there, as we are going to drive a very interesting ball in. But I honestly have not seen a goal like that in some time. In fact, you know what? Let's go and watch that again, because I have not seen a goal like this in some time. Let me know in the comments, have you scored a back heel this year? Because that is, that's quite some power on that back heel as well. Up next is going to be sixth place predicted Lil. We went in with the aim of trying to win the league. Unfortunately, PSG are so hard to beat. So we are going to finish in second place, but I will say we cemented our spot in that second place so i'm very happy with how we've performed outperforming rennes monaco nice marseille brest obviously some really good teams in there we have come out and cemented second place yes we are a few points behind psg but at the end of the day i was somewhat expecting that as well so a really 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 good season from lil of course we are going to be second place with jonathan david only one goal behind mbappe yusuf picks up the third highest average rating we are going to be top when it comes to assists when it comes to individual players so 
There are some positives to take. Team stat-wise, we are going to feature in the most shots for and the fewer shots against and the most dribbles being made. We were close to PSG, though, when it comes to the most goals being scored. Possession-wise, we are going to be in eighth place. Obviously, PSG just are a real big powerhouse. They're an absolute nightmare to play. Going over to the Date Hub, it is going to be 2.47 goals a game. Still way under a goal conceded, so that's really nice to know. An 87% pass completion, nearly 88. A 78% tackle win ratio, and just over 18 shots every single game. So this is going to be the Europa Conference League semi-final. Unfortunately, I did just sim the final, and we did lose. So it's a little bit gutter. We could have finally walked away with a trophy with Lil in the first season but this semi-final to get here we absolutely took over I mean this team had nothing to offer we were on them from the get-go and actually ended 11-4 on aggregate so you can see how we blew them out the water this is their only goal of the second leg it's a great finish don't get me wrong but they were nowhere near the quality we obviously displayed against them and it was just complete it was a rampage it really really was I mean 11 goals over two legs is quite some statement unfortunately we couldn't get the job done in the final we did lose in 2-1 fashion so a little bit annoyed about that because that would have meant this semi-final actually had a real meaning but as you can see from the goals just as I'm talking in the background now you can see the variety of ways you are going to be scoring your goals very high quality chances in very good areas lots of players going forward and really good at getting the job done getting the ball in the back of the net it's as so simple as that lastly the powerhouse is going to be Manchester City where we enjoyed a fantastic season in the Premier League we'll go into that very shortly the Champions League we got put into a tough group it wasn't too easy luckily we bounced back and won the Europa League in a very tough final, actually, against Liverpool. The Carabao Cup, we also are going to win. That is going to be in 6-1 fashion over Aston Villa. We are also going, to, also going to win the Community Shield, sorry, against Arsenal in 2-0 fashion right there. We're going to win the Super Cup as well against Sevilla in 7-1 fashion and the FA Cup against Liverpool in extra time, which means they conceded three goals in extra time. Absolutely shocking from Liverpool, I will say so. Premier Division, though, I thought it was invincible. Nearly invincible. Two losses coming in there against Brentford and Liverpool. Erling Haaland, 67 goals. De Bruyne with 25. All three players in the average rating. All three in the assists. Kyle Walker, 26 assists. Phil Foden, 22. And Bernardo Silva with 20 as well. Going over to the league stats, it is going to be the most points per game. The most goals, 171. That's almost 100 more than Liverpool. We need to we need to really realize how good that is. That's absolutely remarkable. Most shots just shy of a thousand. Fewer shots against at 176. The most dribbles being made at 770. The fewest conceded and also the most clean sheets. Possession wise, we are going to be in sixth place with Man City. So it does go to show we are not going to be a possession based tactic. It's very very direct, very aggressive and fast paced. So if you enjoy that way, be sure to download the tactic. Obviously you can do so from the link in the description. Data hub wise, it is going to be 4.5 goals a game. Our best of the best. 0.6 conceded, over 24 shots a game, a 76% tackle win ratio, and a pass completion, quite good to be fair, of 86.35. Gonna prioritize the FA Cup final because it seems to be quite dramatic to be fair. But Arno Silva just dive past absolutely everyone, and it is gonna be, I believe, Haaland getting the goal as per. They then bounce back in 1 1 fashion with Mo Salah with a great penalty. Do they end up taking the lead? Ake playing about with it at the back. He's gonna go down the left hand side, a great ball over the top into Haaland who touches it down, and Penenka's at past Allison to put us 2-1 up. They then must bounce back. They do. In the second half, Phil Jones into Van Dyke. It's lucky. Edison probably should have dealt with that, in my opinion. And then it goes to the 90th minute, just in, just literally seconds after the extra time whistle starts, and Haaland completes his hat-trick. Does he score two more goals and score five in one game? It really wouldn't surprise me. Now in the 116th minute, Rico Lewis down the right-hand side, into Doku, into Haaland. That's his fourth goal of the game. If he gets the fifth one, he does, doesn't he? That's Erling Haaland with five goals in a final. I mean, you can see here, I'll quickly include this in the video, five goals for Erling Haaland against a full-strength Liverpool team. This tactic really does get the best out of him. And of course, now over to your favourite part of the video, the tactic breakdown. If you are enjoying, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy the content I post, you can come and check out my stuff in the description below. I post tactics. I've got a rebuild channel as well. Come over and say hello. Say you're from FM Scout. I always love to see you boys over there. It's going to be a sweeper keeper on defend, simply on tackle harder. A fullback on the right who is going to be on the attack on cross from the byline, sit narrower and also tackle harder. And on the left, we've gone with a bit of different flavour now. It's going to be an inverted wing back on support on tackle harder. A ball playing defender on the left on defend on 
dribble more, tackle harder, and mark tighter. And on the right, that is going to be exactly the same. Both ball playing defenders, both on defend, both on the same set of instructions. A DM on the right is going to be on support on take more risks, get further forwards, and tackle harder. And next to him is going to be a very smart decision, and I'll explain why. That is going to be the Volante on attack on take more risks, move into channels, and tackle harder. But the great thing is this inverted wing back, while this player is pushing up, this inverted wing back is going to almost replace him in that midfield, which will then mean this almost transitions to a back three. On the right hand side is going to be an inside forward on support, on tackle harder. On the left is going to be exactly the same. I don't know why that has changed. Um, I will just quickly change that back for any people that are going to be getting confused by what is going on. That was a Volante on attack, just in case there is any confusion. And lastly, it's going to be a complete forward on support partnered with the advanced forward on attack on tackle harder with that complete forward on support on tackle harder so that's a very very good system i love the way it works especially on the left hand side of the pitch is very smart very good use of the player roles in the game in terms of the tactical style it is of course going to be tiki taka on the balance mentality now you can probably go to positive and score more goals but please be aware you might concede more as well so i'll leave that down to you you can make the decision in possession it's going to be set to narrow pass into space overlap left overlap right focusing the play down the left and the right hand side of the field as well a shorter pass and direct this match with a higher tempo run at defense and also low crosses in transition it's going to be counter press counter distribute quickly and roll the ball out and lastly it's going to be a much higher defensive line the high pressing line of engagement much more often prevent short goal distribution get stuck in step up more and also invite crosses into the box and that's going to complete for you a very very good and very decent 4-2-4 which seems to work with every single team we tested with obviously teams such as Lille very disappointing we didn't win the French League but at the end of the day me saying that just shows how much faith I've got in these tactics because you never should expect it really but if you guys have enjoyed today's video be sure to leave a like subscribe to the for the Scout channel check out the other content which me and Jake provide as well and I'll see you in the next video